Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Pigments and I want to show you a very simple but very fun to make and cool sounding flute sound that always is in those kind of Blade Runner or those old movies and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. So let's go to a new preset and go from wavetable to analog and for this we're going to be using one oscillator only and that's going to be a square and let's change the width to maybe somewhere around 0.8 or so. We're going to fine tune this a little bit later to find the exact sound that we want but this is going to be a good starting point. So from here, what we need to do is grab an LFO and put this on the volume and kind of bring this down maybe a little bit here. And the amount's going to be kind of slow. And again, we're going to tweak these here, but this is kind of the main takeaway. Increase our main output here just a bit and let's see what we have so far. Okay, so now we need to dial in this LFO because it sounds a little wrong. So let's go to poly keyboard and go to free running. Change this to a triangle shape and then the rates maybe... 3.4, some somewhere around there, 3.4, 3.5, something like that. Now the depth is a little bit too much, so let's back that up just a little bit. Okay, that might work for now. So now let's go to our filter and kind of change this to, I always like the matrix 12 for this, and let's bring it substantially down, somewhere maybe like 99. So we can barely hear it here. And now this is going to be where we're going to add our envelope. So for envelope two, let's drag it onto the cutoff and give a good healthy amount, something like that, and kind of dial in the attack, maybe 71, keep our sustain all the way up and increase our release. And kind of do the same with our attack here. Make sure these are actually kind of close. So we're going 71 for now. Let's see how close we can get like that. And then increase the release as well to about maybe, oh, this might, might be much, maybe 304 or something like that. Or 341. So we're kind of getting there. And this works perfect in any kind of blue scale. So now we want to maybe dial in a little bit of resonance to our taste. And maybe lower our cutoff and kind of just adjust this envelope here. Okay, so we're almost ready for effects. One thing we do need to add is a little bit of glide that goes a long way, so maybe somewhere around 35. Okay, so just coming out dry, we're in a very good spot here. Now let's go to our effects, and for this sound, one of the main kind of characteristics is going to be that reverb, so... So hopefully by now you kind of know the sound that we're going to be going for, going for. Okay, so let's move our reverb down here just a little bit and our delay. We can't add some delay. This is going to be the spot that we're kind of going to be in a little bit of a creative mode. So if we want to add some delay, we totally can. Something kind of like that. And something that I also kind of like doing to a sound like this, we can have it very dry sounding like this. I do also like the Chorus Juno 6, so we can just dial back this down a little bit. The default settings for the most part are going to be kind of cool. Kind of gives it a little bit of a bigger sound and not just so pointy in your face, but really depends on what kind of style that you like. We can always put the Chorus on its own macro to kind of separate that in case you want that or not. So for the most part, that's kind of the patch in the sense, kind of the recipe so far. Now there's some things that we would like to maybe do for things, right? So... I think the cutoff should be where it's at. Maybe resonance could be something that we can change. So let's bring this down. And for our first macro, let's make this on resonance because that seems like something that might be kind of useful. Actually, you know what? Let's take this actually off and use macro two for that and label this res. And for the first macro, we should have this on the width control. So let's bring our width maybe down to 0.7-ish or so, something like that, and grab the first macro and kind of give it all its volume here and put this on tone, maybe something like that. Mm -hmm. 
because changing that width is really going to give you the different feeling and the different vibe of this type of sound. And the further right we go, the more narrow that's going to be. And it kind of almost enters brass territory at that point. But a little bit further down and single notes. You get that nice smoothness to it. Or those like mystery shows. He was the sheriff the whole time. Super fun to do. So let's keep working on our macro. So we have two left, three and four. So in this case, the chorus, it would be cool to have that separate. So we're at 20%. Let's drag that down, go to macro three and maybe give it, uh, you know, what, let's go 25. Let's be a little dangerous today. So let's put chorus here. And then for the last uh, macro here, let's use delay and use reverb to kind of dial that in and whatever, maybe 20. Bring this up. Yeah, this should be okay. And then for the reverb, that's quite a lot. So let's maybe go with something like that. And label this effects. And while we're on the reverb, something to keep in mind. If we really want that big wide sound, we can always increase the size of this. Maybe play the decay and bring down the pre-delay a little bit more. But that's totally up to you, depending on how you want to dial in that sound. Right here, it's a pretty good point for you to start moving things around if you'd like to. So that's basically the recipe. If you'd like this patch for free, there is a link in the video description below, and it can be yours. I don't know what we're going to call it. The, oh my God, um, it's kind of bluesy, the, um, the blues flute, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of no. Blues runner, I guess. Okay, whatever. Blues runner. <laughs> Okay, if you want to get Blues Runner, there is a link in the video description, the video description below, and it can be yours. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next one.